Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I am here with a review of the Olive and June Manny system and some of their nail polishes. They reached out and asked if I wanted to try one of the, the Manny systems that they are kind of famous for and some of the polishes and I said yes. Thank you so much to Olive and June for sending this my way and let's get to the review. I initially filmed a review and an unboxing and then I ran out of time to finish filming the end of it. So here we are, but it's fine. The um, Manny system is in here and that comes with everything that you need to do your manicure. So we have the nail polish remover pot. This is the acetone free nail polish remover. That you stick your finger in the foam in here, remove your nail polish. But I've never seen this on this type of uh, product before. There's a sponge in here for removing your toenail polish because obviously you can't stick your toenail in here. I mean, maybe you can, I can't. But I thought that was really cool for removing your toenail polish. Use the same, same remover. A pair of nail clippers, which I'm pretty sure I bought a pair of Olive and June nail clippers not that long ago because I needed an extra pair. And so now I have a second. We have the cuticle serum with cactus flower and this, a little puff ball on the end. I really like this instead of a brush applicator. The cactus flower cuticle serum smells like nothing. There's no scent to it. So I really like that applicator. A nail file and a nail, like a four-way nail buffer. There's also a hand serum included. This is the hand serum with cactus flower. This has a nice consistency. It's not too thick or too thin. Again, no scent. We have some dry drops that you can use to speed up the, the dry time of your manicure. And then the thing that Olive and June is famous for is their poppy. So I'm gonna insert a video of me applying this to the nail polish. But basically, you, if you are using a nail polish where the, there's an over cap, you can remove the overcap, slide the poppy on, and you have better control. You have um, like a, a more comfortable grip because some of the, especially the lids that have like an overcap, they're not as comfortable to use. And uh, you have a comfy grip, more control, more even strokes using this. So that is also included in the Manny starter kit. We also have a Petty system, which has this, I'll put up a picture. But it had, I really kind of want that because it has a little, I won't call it like a starting block for like track where you can elevate your foot. This is genius. It's called the Posey. I kind of want it. They let me pick out some nail polish and they were so kind to send everything that I asked for. I was not expecting that. Let's get to the swatches. All of these are swatched over a base coat and I used the Olive and June top coat for all of these swatches but the top coat is shiny very glossy glassy looks like a nice shiny top coat so i i enjoy using that for all these swatches the first polish is called bocce ball and this is just described as a fresh grassy green that always wins this is a bright almost minty turquoise green um the formula is kind of like a crelly there's there's no shimmer or anything extra in any of these polishes but a few of them kind of applied like a crelly. And this is definitely a, kind of a crelly formula. Very easy to work with though. It covers in two coats. This one, it's almost a neon. It's, it's bright enough to kind of dry like a neon. So that sort of demi matte finish. So you will definitely want a shiny top coat for this, but I really liked this color. It's so bright and I mean, I just love brights, you know, I just love brights. So it's two coats of bocce ball. The next polish is called Can't Lose, and this is a bright jersey blue inspired by one of our favorite iconic sports teams. Any guesses? I actually can't remember what the team's called, but I don't hear Can't Lose and not think of Friday Night Lights. This one covers in two coats. Again, kind of that Crelly formula, but this is my favorite color of blue, so I, whenever I'm trying a new brand, I always want to try this color. So I feel like testing the same color from multiple brands is a good um, baseline for determining formula and all of those types of things. This covers in two coats. I had no issues with the formula and it's just the most beautiful blue. I mean, 
You can't not love this blue. And it's just the most beautiful blue. I just love it so much. I'm never sick of it. This is two coats of Can't Lose. And the next one I chose was a nice gray. This is called Favorite Beanie. And this is a moody slate gray for deep and sophisticated nails. This is beautiful. I love a gray nail polish and I love a plain gray nail polish. Let me rephrase it. I like pretty much every finish, texture. I'm not that picky. There are seasons of time where I like certain things more than others, but I would say that I like most every type of finish at a certain time. But I always love a cream, like a good gray cream nail polish. I just think it looks really elegant. And the formula on this is great. Two coat coverage, no issues with running or pooling. Um, like I said, I did swatch all of these over a base coat, which my nails need because they're terrible. I really liked Favorite Beanie and that's two coats. The next polish is called Flower Pot and this is a burnt orange terracotta and ideal neutral for all the things. This is um, definitely a terracotta. It looks a little more muted on their screen than I think it does in person. It's still not bright by any means, but it looked a little more, most rusty. Um, I still think the color is really beautiful and I, I really like this, this color, especially for fall. It's like a perfect fall terracotta color. Uh, two coat coverage, no issues with formula. That's two coats of flower pot. Next we have Geometry, and this is a classic hunter green for a mani to envy. I love a hunter green. I don't like Geometry, but I love a hunter green. This is gorgeous. It covers in two coats. These all have an extremely consistent formula. I did not purchase all of these from the same collection, so these were all released at different times. The formulas with all of them were very consistent, which is a huge deal because I, I would rather have a consistent, even a consistent three coat formula than, oh, sometimes it's one and sometimes it's three and sometimes it's two and this one looks a little patchy and two and then sometimes it needs three. The formulas for all of these were very consistent, which I greatly appreciate. I love this type of green. I think that this looks like if I were, I don't know why, but this makes me feel like a rich lady villain. I don't know why, but I love it. And that's two coats of geometry. <laughs> the next polish is called House of O and J, and this is a fashion forward regal deep purple that's always best dress. This looks kind of periwinkle on their website. It's a little bit darker in person, but it doesn't look as blue in person as it looks in the picture, but it still toes the line that makes it impossible to capture accurately. I love this color too. I love like a, I love a purple and I love a blue. Put them together. Easy coverage, two coats again, no formula issues, no streaking, pooling, running. Very easy to apply all of these. And um, that's two coats of House of Owen J. Next polish is called OMG and this is described as an edgy deep indigo that still keeps it neutral. And I loved this. It looks very dark, but it still looks like an indigo. It doesn't look black, but it's a very dark blue indigo color. Again, perfect two coat coverage. It's just beautiful. Perfect. Two coats of OMG. And then lastly, we have Touchdown, which is described as a fresh turf green that's always ready to get out on the field. And this is very similar to Geometry. I couldn't really, it looked a little bit brighter on the website and it is a little bit brighter. Geometry is a little bit deeper and then Touch On is a little bit brighter. But uh, the coverage is perfect, two coats, easy formula, no issues. But you don't need Geometry and Touch Down. I'm gonna put up a picture. Uh, two of my nails have Geometry and two of my nails have touched down. Geometry is on my ring and pinky nails. 
and and it looks very similar to Touchdown, and that's fine. I didn't mean to choose this color twice. It did look a little bit brighter on their website. They do have a, uh, I thought this was kind of fun because I love football. They have a game day set of polish that includes six colors. There's a maroon, a bright cranberry, a jersey blue, which is can't lose, um, our house or stadium gray, and then a silver and gold heart glitter. Uh, that set is sold out right now, but it is available at some point. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Have you guys tried Olive and June before? I would love to know your thoughts. I forgot to mention at the beginning because I've already put it in my nail polish use thing. They also included a cleanup brush in the, the Manny set. So there's literally everything you need to get started. I would love to know your thoughts. What is your favorite Olive and June nail polish? They just released a fall collection that looks really beautiful. And they also have quick dry nail polish, which is very affordably priced. It's $7.50 and then their long lasting nail polishes are $9. So that's a pretty good drugstore price for a really quality polish based on my experience with the brand. So I'd love to know your favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then please give this video a thumbs up. That would be great. I'll talk to you in my next video.